smoking out of the engine compartment and I saw the police officer open the, the emergency escape hatch and throw it to the side. It's the first deadly plane crash in the Lansing area in more than 20 years. Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out why this plane went down near Capital Region International Airport this morning, killing three people. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sarah Swistak. The three people who survived that crash are in critical condition right now. The plane went down in a wooded area along Airport Road just west of the airport. It crashed as it was attempting to land. As our Carla Byron tells us, the single engine plane was coming from Indianapolis when tragedy struck. At about 9.04 this morning, our central dispatch received a telephone call of a plane that had crashed just west of the airport in the open field off Airport Road. Clinton County Sheriff Larry Giroux uh, saying it was a six person TBM 700 plane, a leased single engine that originated out of Indianapolis en route to Capital Region International Airport. Four passengers and two crew members were on board. The sheriff says it does not appear they were related. We have three confirmed deaths on board. Uh, three others have been transported uh, in critical condition uh, to Sparrow Hospital. The sheriff says it was a hard landing. The wings are still attached, the, per, uh, the propeller is there. Uh, obviously, it, it appears to be a, a very hard impact, but uh, as far as uh, there was no fire on board, there was no, uh, 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 the, the aircraft did not disintegrate. It was a misty and cloudy morning, but the sheriff will not say if the weather had anything to do with the crash. There's going to be no speculation as to why. The National Safety Transportation Board and Federal Aviation Administration are investigating the crash. They say it could take days. And that was Carla Byron reporting. The crash did not result in any cancellations and service will continue as scheduled for the rest of the day. The names of the passengers and crew have not been released. That probably won't change until all the families have been notified.